In this segment, we're going to discuss what all the different parts of the motherboard are. So we're going to start right here with, this is the socket for the processor, and this is an LGA 775 socket, and you can just drop a processor in there. Over here, we can see a PCI Express X16 slot, which is meant for graphics cards, and two PCI Express X1 slots, which are meant for other peripherals. Here's PCI with the regular edition, which is used for older peripherals, but it's still widely used today. Over here, we can see uh, ATA connectors, or IDE connectors are sometimes called, to connect older legacy hard drives, and here's another one here. They can also be used to connect CD drives. These right here are called SATA ports, or serial ATA, and those are used to connect newer hard drives. If you look over here, all these pins connect the front ports of the case to the motherboard, and these uh, yellow spots connect USB ports. Over here are all the RAM slots, and actually on this motherboard, uh, two of them are DDR1 and another two are DDR2, and uh, slots always run uh, parallel with one in the middle because that way you get a dual data rate so the chips run faster. Over here is a slot for a floppy port, and this is a power slot for uh, an ATX uh, motherboard. And that's what all the different parts do, and I hope you learned something.